photo of Duke of Edinburgh taken yesterday also comes the same day as he wrote to the injured woman to apologize for the incident which he blamed on low sunlight. The Duke was being driven back from the lunch shooting lodge where he had met the Queen. Also pictured yesterday was the Queen who was seen driving to a pheasant shoot on the Sandringham estate. Princess Anne and racing legend Jackie Stewart were at the event organized by Tim Lawrence. The Queen was at the shoot, which was not attended by Prince Philip. Images show the Queen picking up a pheasant in what was the second day in a row of shooting in Sandringham. Prince Philip is at the center of a police investigation following his tragic car crash this month. On January 17, Prince Philip was driving his Land Rover Freelander near the Queen's estate in Sandringham when he crashed into a Ford Kia causing his car to flip on the driver's side. A female driver, 28, suffered scrapes on her knee while passenger Emma Fairweather, 46, broke her wrist in the collision. Norfolk police have confirmed a nine-month-old baby boy was also in the Kia involved in the crash. The Duke of Edinburgh, 97, walked away unharmed from the crash which happened around 3 p.m. Prince Philip will hear the police verdict within the next week or so and officers say they are close to finishing the investigation. Ms. Fairweather said the Duke should be prosecuted if he is found responsible for the crash. In a written apology to Ms. Fairweather, Philip apologized for the accident and said he was deeply sorry about her injury. In personal letter seen by the Sunday Mirror, the Duke wrote, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day and at about three in the afternoon. The sun was low over the wash. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dusingham direction, but I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming. And I am very contrite about the consequences. I was somewhat shaken after the accident, but I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured, as a crowd was beginning to gather. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm. I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. The letter is signed yours sincerely, Philip.